and hold court martial as well. So they've got to be a little careful here. But um, they got a lot of different ways there, but they can go to Admiralty. And see, the problem at Admiralty is, guess what? At Admiralty, everybody in the court has, has full liability. Every single man and woman in that court has full liability at Admiralty, which is why most times they don't want it at Admiralty. Mm-hmm. And why most times you want it at Admiralty. If you're not afraid of, afraid of full liability, that's where you want it. You want that Admiralty court. Um, you turn that sword from that uh, pirate <laughs> and push him off the plank. Well, yeah. Um, in a sense, I don't mean like li- literally. I'm yeah. talking about in terms of how he's trying to claim them being captain, you know, on that sea, on that ship, and you know, it's like he, you know, he's trying to basically throw you off and make you drown in in the their law form. Yeah, they're 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 uh, coming inland to collect booty, and the thing is, is you know, um, they can't come inland. I mean, you come in inland without permission from the uh, crown, that's a problem. You know, you better have a letter of mark if you want to come inland. But but get it. They get around all that with the trust. The trust is international. There is no inland and in, in out at sea when you're, in, when you're dealing with the trust. Uh-huh. Um, see, the trust is – the trust doesn't know uh, – Land, <laughs> okay. All right. Trust, trust isn't bound to land. That's what I was saying a couple, I guess, a couple times back. That the state um, doesn't have to be bound to land. It, it's not. It can exist absent land. So have you fellas seen these executor letters going around? Uh. Uh-uh. No. No. But I'll tell you another thing about stuff is that if you're gonna if you're gonna pin something that you want to um use in a particular form, well, number one, you, you better go down there and get it copyrighted. You better put some borders and boundaries around it. You don't want anybody to trespass on onto your uh, border unless you've given them easement. And number two, you better copyright it, because otherwise whatever you put into that venue into that jurisdiction can and will be used against you. Oh, do you put purple and blue border? I mean, purple and lavender borders as royalty around it? Listen, I I, I don't know if for me, a border is a border, you know, and uh, mm-hmm. I um I don't I never have gotten involved in any of this color scheme stuff. I just uh, you know. I, just I have, haven't either. I just I was just questioning if you had. No, I I've just use the things. knowledge in my head, and and mm-hmm. you know, p- part of uh, part of that being able to wield that knowledge is the key of David, and you know where your high tower is, and you know where to run to, and uh, um, that's what I've always run to. I just run to the high tower, and I just you know I don't sign nothing unless it's in the name of the ever living. And then, if there's ever a contract put in front of me, well, I just, I, you know, like the other day, I had to go to the ER, right? I had to, I had a, a really sore throat, so I went to the ER, and uh, they put a contract in front of me, and I scratched out this, and the girl says, well, "What are you doing here?" I said, "Well, I'd make a couple changes." She said, "Well, you just scratched out my entire document," and I said, "Well, yeah, I can't live with any of these terms and conditions," and she said, "Well." Uh, can you live with the condition to to uh, to treat you? I said, yeah, I left that blank. And she, I said, but I I can't live with the condition that says I got to pay. I'm a yeah. guarantor, and so I'm, I'm taking all that out. And she said, uh, well, you can't do that. I said, sure, I can. And at the end of the day, guess what happened? I walked in, they saw me. I walked out, no charge. Huh. Yeah, you didn't agree to their terms. You made the terms and they accepted. That's kind yeah. of the UCC, their own law. Well, so they the have guy, to by their the own law. Said, um, the guy said, hey, man, what are you doing then? These are our forms. I said, you asked me to sign them, right? He said, yeah. I said, well, then 
you know, I, I don't like these terms. And so, you know, I don't, I don't agree to be guarantor and surety. You can forget it. And about that time, he says, well, what's mother's maiden name? I said, that's irrelevant. Well, do you have an emergency contact? I said, "What for? I'm not, I'm not choking or dying here. I just want you. To, I don't need an emergency contact. See, that, that's that's just a. Well, where's where's your address? Your mailing address? Well, I don't have one. Where's your driver's license? I don't have one. Well, where's your social security number? I don't have one. And they're like, "Well, damn. <laughs> how, are we gonna, how are we gonna bill you? Uh, well, you can't." They can't deny you either. <laughs> it's another patient. <laughs> oh yeah, the doctor came in there and said, "Man, I just had to meet you." He, <laughs> said, he said, "Good luck to you, man." I said, "Yes, sir. I appreciate that." I said, "I, it'll be even better luck if you come back and tell me I don't have strep throat." And uh, he said, "Yeah, no problem." He said, "Fact of the matter is, we were gonna. You think you come in like that? They're gonna give you sorry service? Wrong." He said, "He said we'd like to give you some." Other tests just to make sure you don't have such and such. I said, no, I don't want any radiation or anything like that. He said, well, I, I, then, you know, he said, well, then, you know, we want you to sign a waiver. And I said, look, man, I'm going to go get in my car when I leave and uh, and drive off. And he, you want me to sign a waiver for that, too? I mean, I could die any number of ways in here. And... uh he said, you, you drive? He said, how do you do that with no driver's license? I said, well, I go out to my car, put the key in the ignition, and turn it over. <laughs> I don't need permission to drive. So he said, well, who who drives? Who drives you? I said, well, the trustee does. Oh, and that really threw him for a loop. He's like, well, don't we, can we get the trustee's mailing address? And I said, well, that would be hearsay now, wouldn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> It just reminds me of that that old old uh, uh, you know the concept behind it with uh, Puff the Magic Dragon, the Land of the Living Lies. She talks to them. She asks them if she can leave, and he goes, "Well, uh, you know," and and she, she goes, "Really, right now?" And basically, he's like, "Well, now is not a specific time. You know, find a time that's not specific, and you may be on your way." It means if you had to ask me, well, the answer is no. I mean, you should have just basically left, right? Right. Well, I mean, you know, when when you I mean, I, I've just kind of um, not get it. Um, I've been doing this now for seven seven years, and um, and I understand that um, it takes experience when and you start to realize there's nothing there. But you know, there's really nothing there. It's like that song by uh, Creed. It's it's called uh, "I Created My Own Prison." Yeah. And he 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 he's standing there and he's yelling out to God, you know. And um, and Gabriel stands and says, "You created your own prison." And um, that's right. I do want to appreciate, uh, you know, thank you, and I do appreciate you explaining your point of view on the concepts and things that are being conveyed on this call, because um, you're very knowledgeable, and it gives me, at least, you know, the ability to see. Uh, I guess it, it, through your eyes in a way, in, in the terms, so I can look and see how if I'm ever put in that situation myself, you know, and, and it obviously or a similar situation, because it's not going to be exactly equal. It's going to be congruent. Um, that I know how to uh, work around. Um, yeah, just know, remember. Just uh, by the way, you're welcome. I um. Uh, I'm no, and by the way, I'm in no way. I mean, I really appreciated uh, Frank uh, tonight, and I'm I'm just looking forward to. I've really been digging in over at his um, his web page, and I highly recommend to anybody who hears this call to get on that web page and start digging because there's just it's just really. I mean, there's a lot there. Um, but you know, on the other hand, um. You're just not going to get this overnight. I mean, you know, it's going to take a little bit of work, and um, and and other people can come in and share their experiences and what they've done. And I've just, you know, I've seen other men, like for instance, I, I uh, about seven years ago, I made a contact with a guy on a um, on an internet chat board, and it turned out he was 30 minutes down the road from me. And I said, okay. Actually, it was two and a half hours down the road from me. And I said, okay, I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. 
said, you've got a lot of knowledge that I want. I said, there's got to be something that I can give you. And I said, I've got a ton of um, trust um, uh, books. And he had been reading um, um, law dictionaries. And uh, I said, I got it. But he had a ton of experience and uh, of actually living and walking the path. And, and I, I said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bundle all this stuff up, and I'm going to meet you, and, and I'm going to bring you all that I've got. And then I'm going to help you. You know, and you need process written, I'll help you. You need you need stuff to go down to the post office. You need stamps to be put on the documents. I'm all, I'm your man. <laughs> all right, I'll package it. I'll put it together. Whatever you need. And um, I felt like that I wasn't going to get something for nothing. I mean, he he had a lifetime's worth of um, um, study and work to get to where he was, and I wasn't going to uh, cheapen that by saying your work means nothing and you you need to give it away to me for free. Um, I, that's just my perspective on things, and so. Um, I think that the ever living, you know, honors that perspective because you know he it, the divine law says if you don't work, you shouldn't eat, right? Yes, it's true. Um, it's funny how the stomach works. I mean, there's a little button back there near your near your spine that when your belly button hits that button, it's time to get to work, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's like when you give thought to something, it, 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 that's what brings it to life. You know, that brings that makes it part of that trust. So it's just putting your your thought and your energy into positive things that's going to help you and everybody around you. Well, I'll, I'll tell you um, that the um, the uh, I went down to one of those minute clinics and I said, here I got I got 120 bucks here, and she said. Uh, she said, you got a driver's license, social security number? I said, no, ma'am. She said, no DL, no social security number, no service. I said, well, uh, you're not going to take cash? And she said, absolutely not. You don't have a DL or a social security number, no service. And I said, well, I guess that's what the emergency room is for then. And so uh, I packed up, went to the emergency room, and, um, you know, the girl said, uh, um, she wanted to know two things. She wanted to know what to call me, and she wanted to know the date of birth. I said I was born on the 332nd day of the year 5969. <laughs> she said, can you give me that in months and days? And I said, absolutely. I was born on the, the 28th day of Shabbat in the year 5969. And she said, now... Shavat, what month is that? I said, that's the 11th month. So she put 11-28-1969. I said, all right, good enough for me. <laughs> you know, I don't care how she interprets it. That's her business. Exactly. She That's her interpretation, not yours. So, you know, when they finally got around to sending the two, the two admin people, and I got it all recorded. I mean, it's a hoot. But um, um, they were like, well... We're going to need a little more information than this. And I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, see, the building cycle's interrupted. Why? Because I don't have any trust in that system. I don't, you know, I don't have. You're not you know, given any, you're, you're, it's, it's not part of your life. It's not, it's not, it's a dead document, basically. They They can't bring that into that life trust. Well, let's say no. It's not a life trust. It's, it's a testamentary. So if 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 they want to know where to bill the um, Sesta K or the fiduciary for Sesta K, they need an address within the United States, right? Yes. Well, then I've got to somehow another um, um, agree that that's my address, and it's not my address. My address is Michael Joseph. Well, I'm just going off of the, which is going to be talked about the next call, that live trust that Mr. Uh, Frank Collins was talking about. Right, but see, know. he's saying Sesta K is not a live trust. Sesta K is the um, is the um, testamentary trust that um, was created from an inter vivis higher estate, but is actually, um, the Sesta K is actually a testamentary trust, um, 
because 